New tonight, a family still without answers as they prepare to bury their nine-year-old child. You may remember earlier this month, DeMarcus Fuller Jr. was killed in a drive-by shooting. Now police are asking for the public's help finding out who did this. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale is live in studio with details. Well, that's right. Investigators say they think the shooting was a targeted attack on the house the nine-year-old was at. Today, I talked with DeMarcus's aunt, who's pleading for the person behind the trigger to come forward. I miss my nephew. Like, this is wrong. It's just wrong. An innocent nine-year-old. It's, it's, it's messing with everybody. It's been an agonizing, unbearable 20 days for DeMarcus Fuller Jr.'s family. It's been tragic. Like, it's, it's been hard. We have no leads yet. We don't have nothing. All we got is each other. On October 4th, the nine-year-old was playing his PS4 inside his father's South OKC home when he was hit by a stray bullet. A bullet came through the window, struck him, and sadly it killed him. There were other people in the home. Thankfully, nobody else was hit. Leaving his five younger siblings heartbroken and without their big brother. Police still without any leads on who pulled the trigger or why, but they think it was intentional. Oh, not the nine-year-old specifically that I know of, but we do believe that that house was intentionally targeted. The house was hit numerous times, so we're trying very hard to locate the people responsible for it, get them off the streets as soon as possible. Marquithia Barber is begging that person to turn themselves in. Whoever is reliable for this, they really need to come forward and they really need to come you know, clean, and I'm going to keep screaming, long live DeMarcus Jr., my baby. Like, he didn't deserve this, and justice is going to be served. I promise you. DeMarcus will be laid to rest on Saturday. Anyone with information about his murder is asked to contact the homicide tip line, and the number for that is on our website, kfor.com.